A Batavia high schooler is making strides as a rower. He's going to row at the University of California, Berkeley, and is getting ready to compete in a global rowing competition. Killian Bullen is also transgender. And he joins us now to share his story. Killian, thanks so much for being with us. Of course. Thank you for having me. So let's start kind of from the beginning here. Tell us about how you made this announcement to your team and how did that go? Yeah, so I made the announcement over a Zoom, a Zoom call, which was, you know, a little bit scary, um, not having known them very well or for very long, because I had just been rowing for about half a year by then. Um, so, yeah, it was kind of over spring quarantine. We couldn't really see each other in person, so I had to do it over a Zoom call, which was nerve-wracking, to say the least. <laughs> How, what was the reaction? Well, it was a really good reaction. Um, I'm very lucky to have the uh, people that I have at this boathouse because they're all very welcoming and very accepting and just very open to anything. So I was given a very warm reaction. Killian, as you know, lawmakers in several states, they've been targeting transgender athletes. But at, right now, at the same time, it sounds like you're going to be the first openly transgender person to compete in a global championship later this year. How does it feel to be in this position? Well, I feel like as of right now, because there are a lot of bills being put in attacking transgender people, which is extremely unfortunate because trans women belong in women's sports. Um, I do think that having this chance really, it's a possibility to show people that trans people belong in sports um, and trans people belong in every space. Um, and I'm really excited to get the chance to try out for the team this summer. You know, what, what you've done is very difficult. I just can't even imagine. And this is Pride Month that we're celebrating here. So what advice, uh, what support can you offer to other people in the LGBTQ community and maybe who haven't even come out yet? Um, as of right now, if you're an ally, what I would say is just kind of sit back a little bit and let queer leaders, especially queer leaders of color, take the stand um, and kind of just listen to what they tell you to do, listen to anything that they need help with, and just kind of just be an onlooker and be a listener to everything that can be happening and just find the best ways to step in by what they're telling you. Um, and another thing, like if you're someone who's trans um, or someone who's having a hard time coming out to their family as part of the LGBTQ plus community, all I can say is just like take as much time as you need to and there's no rush in coming out and you don't even have to come out if you don't feel the need to just make sure that you're in a safe environment and just try the best that you can to get into a space where you know that you will be welcomed and accepted mm. great advice yeah, Kelly wise words. Words. thank you so much for being here and sharing your story with us and good luck with of rowing course. thank you so much